Hi and welcome to this how-to. I plan to make this how-to as short as possible, so I cut out everything which are waiting time and fully automated step. I will do some sort of animation when I have done cut. I assume that your computer have one hard drive and one DVD driver. Insert the boot media into the DVD driver and reboot your computer. This is not a graphical installer, so you navigate with help of the arrow keys. Choice are made with space and confirm made with enter. I will use English, so I hit enter. I live in another country, so I need to change the keyboard. If you choose the same language as your keyboard, you don't need to change the keyboard. Now choose Install Ubuntu Server. In this step, you choose which language which should be used during installation. Here you choose your local settings, for example, time soon and so on. The choice here is wrong for me and I need to go down to other. I live in Europe and I should look up my country, which are quite far down, Sweden. And the combination of tech encoding is wrong, but I will choose United States that will work well for me. In this step, you choose the name of the computer system. Here you should enter your full name. Here you can select which username you want. The username is the name you use when you log on the system. I'm satisfied. Here you choose the password for your computer account. Here you write in the password one more time. I will don't encrypt my home folder, some country have more than one time soon, but the settings here is correct for me. Now it's time to choose the hard drive configuration, I will use the most simple one, which are the top one. Here you choose which hard drive, we only have one in this case. Here you confirm the settings and read the change to disk. If your computer is not directly connected to the internet, you need a HTTP proxy. My computer is directly connected to the internet, so I simply continue. Here you choose how to update should be handled. The top alternative, no automated updates. That means you must log on and install updates manually, even security updates. Here, security updates are installed automatic. Here is manage through landscape. That is something which normally costs money. So I will go for the middle option. Automated installation of security updates.
here you choose which service should be installed during installation of the operation system. I want open SSH server marking the choice with space move to continue with help of tab and hit enter to continue. Now we should install grub boot loader. Simply hit enter. Now remove the DVD from the DVD driver and hit enter to reboot your computer. I have now logged on the system and installed updates. And I have a working machine. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.